MSCS is seeking solutions to strengthening youth literacy through a collaboration with Commissioner Erica Sugarman and the Heal the Hood Foundation. Together, they launched a superhero literacy vending machine at Bell Forest Elementary School, offering graphic novels and comic books created by local artists. Visual storyteller Devin Wood has more on how this program inspires children's creativity and love for books. Three. Children are a reflection of what they see. And, you know, that's just a reality for us. It's about exposure. And so when you're not exposed to life of doing what is right, it's easy for you to accept wrong as your right. This is the uh, beginning of a new era, you know, uh, by act actually introducing a superhero uh, comic book literacy machines. The children have an opportunity to get a book, a comic book, with a token. And so we have comic book vending machines at two schools and two laundromats in District 12. One book? Yes. These machines create an interest, it creates a hype, it creates a, a nostalgia, taking us back to the, uh, to the days where it was just cool to be good. The characters are superhero characters, and they teach children about ethics. And it takes place in Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> we want these uh, superhero vending machines like snack machines everywhere. If you go to the hospital, they're, they're, if you go to the church, there it is. Our babies that we serve here every day are our future. When we say uh, heal the hood, hood is a suffix at the end of words like brotherhood, motherhood, fatherhood, parenthood, sisterhood, priesthood. Everybody has a hood. And if we heal those different uh, levels of trauma in our life, starting with childhood, we'll have more healthy adults. 